to another video of GTA Online. It's a new week. So short and simple, it's going to be time trials. We're going to be completing the HSW and the standard time trial of the week in this video. Currently black screen. We are fast travelling. Again, if you don't know how to fast travel, there is or will be a video. I think, I'm not sure if I've uploaded it already yet, but there will be a video out explaining how to, how to fast travel. It's pure and simple. It's as easy as pie. You can't argue with it. It's simple enough. And we're in. Okay, we're going to quickly get rid of our, our bike and collect the one that we actually need. I'm hoping these aren't long ones. I never look forward to doing long ones. I'm on the clock. What Not because. Want, wheels? Ah, it's okay. annoying. How the I fuck is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, usually. The long ones. It's just margin for error. That, that's that's all I see it as. I don't see it as anything it. else. Other than. The fact that you have more time to make a mistake. You calling for some wheels? I'm or you have more time I'll for a car you. to hit you, which is always the worst the thing. You know, it, it's not half the time. It's not even my personal error that causes me to lose. You know, it's not like I crash into a pole. More often than not, I'm dodging vehicles, which causes some other accident. That's the one thing I just the the way that they made this game for for racing is is just shit. It is. It's it's just shit. 90 seconds. To be honest with you, we're probably just going to do it. I'm not going that way. I'm going to guess it's quicker to go this way. Will it be? Now I've kind of started it. I kind of doubt it. Mm, okay, so we were like 2.6 miles away. 2.5, 2.6 miles away. However, I do just feel like it should. This should be quicker, going this way, instead of going on off road. The off roads, it's always the worst. Yeah, and most of this is just full speed, no real worries, straight roads. That was kind of close. Oh dear, that's me not concentrating. Which is simple enough. We've got 20 seconds left. Still loads of time. Nothing to worry about at the moment. Wow, this is cutting very close. Wow, we haven't even made it. Wow, we are way off. Wow. I'm going to be honest, I expected that to be, there's a second or two in it, is it really that much quicker to go that way? I just never like the off-road, then again, it's, it's a mile difference. Let's just see. I just don't like this off-road section. It, it feels risky every time you go on it. Fuck. See what I mean? You're turning sharper. You can't ever really hit a decent speed. You know, you're above a reasonable speed, but it's it's not. You're not as quick as you was the other way. But does that extra mile really make a difference? I don't know. It looks to be. It looks to make all the difference. We've got 30 seconds left and we're only half a mile away now. Oh, I'll just take this. Why would I take the other side? That's just weird. Twenty seconds left now. It's still cutting it fine. It's not close, is it? I mean, I suppose it is really. That's ten seconds in it. Yeah, that's fair. That's. I'll give it a second to load.
I would really appreciate it as well on a side note. If you could actually set the times on this day, on this game. Like, if you're in a private lobby, why are you not allowed to set times? Like, why do I have to play in the 24-hour cycle? It's so shit for content. It's so shit in general. I don't like the night time in this game. It, It's realistic, and I understand that. However, there's no... It's not like there's there's a benefit to day and night. I feel like if there was reason for day and night, and there was a reason to do something in the night time, or a reason to do something in the daytime, I can accept the reason to have both of them online, but just keep it as permanent daytime. Like, what's the need? Or force nighttime to be shorter. As I guarantee you, if you spoke to people, if you did a poll, if anyone did a poll, Asking who prefers night and who prefers dark. You're going to get like a 75%. Probably even closer. Probably closer to 85-90%. Of people who would prefer to have it permanent daytime. And, you know. And, and unless. Nighttime would be. I don't know. Something you can. Do certain races in, or certain heists, or, or something like that. Where are we? All the way down here. That's very far, isn't it? That's very far. We'll reset it, because I think those, we're going to need those 10 seconds. I definitely feel like we're going to need this time. on 4.3 miles in two and a half seconds now that's doable a mile a minute is is more than doable especially yeah especially since the game forces you on a motorway this is perfect take the wide yeah I mean, if you don't know by now, Hakuchi Drag, honestly, it's the only vehicle you need for, for any sort of time trial, as in genuinely any sort of time trial. If you're trying to use other vehicles, if you want to use other vehicles because you enjoy using other vehicles, fair enough. However, if you just want to get these done as soon as possible, buy this vehicle. Plus, it'll make its money back tenfold because time-wise, convenient-wise. I mean, look at the, the amount of cars I'd have to be swerving through if I was actually on a, in a different vehicle. And we've made this look so easy. Having a bit of patience, taking it nice and easy. We've got a little bit under a minute left to do a little bit over a mile. Fuck off, and that's it. That's it. Sometimes that's all it takes. That's the worst bit. And then you've also got the added negativity of how far the bike travels. That's a whole waste of 20 seconds. We've still got 30 seconds left to do this. I'd rather waste these 30 seconds trying. Instead of just reset straight away. Because it's, it's a long enough race. But that's it man, like this is what annoys you. This is this is GTA in a nutshell. Cars just constantly coming in front of you. No, we ain't gonna have this are we? Man, we were so close. We were actually in the end it's a shame. An extra second and we've got it. Again, I don't get why you can program, you know, anything into this game. And yet you decide not to program people who use their uh, lights. Like, why are vehicles not programmed to use their indicators? If you see him turn, then it's a different story. Do you know what I mean? 
I don't I don't crash into that. But yeah, nope, out of absolute nowhere. I'm curious though, what's scripted? Like is it like a variable script where it can happen anywhere? Or is it certain places have certain scripts where certain things happen? In which case, you know, you can learn those scripts and adapt. But at that point, it becomes shit then, doesn't it? Because all you have to do is learn them places. and It's shit as a whole. I'm going to be honest. It's, 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 it's bad as a whole. The whole concept of having drivers driving to you scripting it, it is ridiculous. It happens too common. You know, you have a day and night cycle. But yet you've got people who literally intentionally try and crash into you. For no, no reason. Because again, all they need to do is indicate or use their mirrors. And you haven't... You haven't added any logic into the game. You kind of just... It's, it's annoying. It's an annoying feature. It really is. Because it happens too often. You know, if it was rare, it's a different story. But it happens too often. That one mistake cost me all those seconds. If the bike didn't even fall as far as it did... It would have happened first time. But you see now, like, it's... We have 23 seconds left now. Honestly, if the bike didn't fall as far as it did, we would have done it. That's the difference. Look at that for time. It's so simple. It's so easy, and yet... Fact it. But no matter... No matter. It's a video that's done in 12 minutes. There you go. You can act, you're able to do it in under 12 minutes. Realistically, under 10 minutes, if you do it all first time. And it's as simple as that. Video over. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.